Hey guys, Tanner69046 here, and I'm back with another episode of Tornado Survival. Heck yeah! Season 7 episode... I have no idea. Um, <clears throat> if I had to guess, I would guess 27. So yeah, welcome back to episode 27. In the last episode, we did this. Yeah, we did. Actually, I don't know if it was on camera when we <clears throat> added this big old big old thing but basically we uh i finally built that beacon if you'll remember like over a year ago we fought the wither and i never crafted the beacon well i crafted it now and it's right here and you know it's not complete it still needs this entire un under layer so like corn this corner here but it's 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 getting there uh, so yeah, that's what we're gonna use as the center beacon instead of that redstone design I came up with. But in this episode, we need to finish off the, uh, you know, the build. <laughs> so we're gonna do that. <laughs> let's uh, let's grab our materials. All right. <clears throat> so in off off camera times, aka known as live streaming, I completed the beacon and I worked on the sugar farm at the other base, which I will show you. At the end of the episode. Oh, we need scaffolding, scaffolding, yeah, yeah, scaffolding. Okay, 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 watch this, watch this. We're gonna make it right here. And we're just gonna go boom, 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 boom. That's scaffolding. Alright, how do you do this? I think we just, I think we just build a staircase, you know? I, I think we legit just do this right here. This little number. Like, don't hold me to this. I'm pretty sure this is how you do this. We just build up. That's a shame. Um, I think this is how we do this. Like I said, I don't really know. Should I check the other world real quick? Probably. Ah, we are doing it right. Good news. Fantastic news. That's what I'm wanting to hear. Um, so I was going to say something. Right, you'll notice in the top left corner, I... Oh, doesn't my house look just amazing from up here? It really does. Um, what was I saying? In the top left corner, you will notice that I have a mini map. Wow, I did not. I should have crafted more of these. Um, yeah, let's just craft a bunch of them. Who cares? We'll uh, we'll reuse them. Yeah, I, I installed a mini map mod because I think with the uh, tornado mod, it's nice to be able to look and see. This is just terrible. There we go. I think it's nice to be able to look and see exactly uh, what's going on in uh, everywhere. Right? You know what I mean? Alright, I had to concentrate there, but I got it. <laughs> yeah, I like to be able to watch the map and see the grass get picked up so you know exactly where the tornado is going because... The real radar doesn't really show. Oh, I thought we were already out of stairs. I was like, that was incredibly fast. <laughs> the real radar doesn't actually show the ground being torn up. So I kind of like the mini map to be able to uh, say, hey, here's what's happening, Chief. And it's really helpful. Gosh darn it! It's really helpful, I think. Just you got it. All right, so um, we need to determine here. I can't. Yeah, right. I can't fall off. Right? <laughs> Is it four or five? You know, we're gonna go up four, and then we're gonna go down, and we're gonna figure out if it's four or five. But yeah, this is going to be a grindier episode where I'm going to. And I'm probably just going to show all the building on camera so I can. I'm going to lose my mind on these corners. So I can talk through this. And then maybe we'll see a tornado at the end. Who knows? Um, I would like to discuss future of this channel. And I'll, it's, it feels like every other episode I do that. <laughs> but you kind of have to just because <laughs> whenever <laughs> things don't go to plan, you got to update. And so far... Actually, I'd say everything's gone to plan so far. I've uploaded like five episodes of Tornado Survival. And I've been in college, so that's pretty good. Being able to come home and average, say, 
every other weekend get an episode out. That's pretty solid. And I've I've had to do a lot of grindy stuff for the episodes too, so that is not bad if you ask me. Oh, I guess technically <laughs> we just have to go in until we hit there, right? Because that's where the other one goes to. So that's uh that's pretty easy to remember. Oh dear. No, 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 no. Come on. Come on now. Don't do this to me. Don't do this to me. You know, yes, yes, good boy. <laughs> I was panicking. I was like, that's not going to work. You know, if I was smart, I would have taken this with me, <laughs> which we're going to do now. And we're going to just scrap the scaffolding idea. And we're just going to build up. All right, there we go. What were we doing? Crafting, right? <laughs> oh yeah, I was talking about the uh, the uh, the channel. Uh huh? Who? Where am I? Right. So the idea was through the semester. I'm just not gonna be able to upload as much because obviously I don't have time or the equipment or any of the resources needed to be able to upload. So <clears throat> you know, an episode at every two weeks is not bad at all, and that was pretty much the plan. The semester's ending in like a month and a week, maybe. So come April, expect like two videos a week or a video a week, give or take. Depends on the type of content I'm able to get. Um, that's uh, that's what I'm thinking. And then expect maybe June, we start to see a lot of Tornado Wars 5 hype rumors and stuff come out. I won't promise the start of Tornado Wars 5 in June, but you'll you'll definitely start hearing about Tornado Wars 5 in June is all I'm going to say. I I can't I don't know the extent of that cuz I there still needs to be a lot more work done with it. So That's uh that's all I, that's all I know right now. All I, I'll tell you that Purple's being really supportive with it and we both have been bouncing ideas off of each other for it. <laughs> We've got some crazy ideas. we got a general idea. We've definitely got ideas for other Tornado Wars too. T-O-O, -O, by the way, not not the next Tornado T-W-2. You, you get the point. <laughs> what I'm saying is we know what we want to do for Tornado Wars 5. We've got the general layout for it. It's about <clears throat> putting the work in of getting that getting that into place. I mean, at this point on my channel, right, I'm wanting to do two things. <laughs> I'm wanting to become the biggest supplier of Tornado Survival episodes out there. Mike has me beat by, I think it's like 50 or so, maybe. So I want to I wanna become the, the biggest, I want to have the most Tornado Survival episodes out of anyone, right? That's one goal I have. Another goal is... Tornado Wars is basically my creation, right? So I want that to succeed, and we've had a couple successful Tornado Wars here or there. I know most of them were general failures, but we don't talk about that. We talk about the fact that Tornado Wars 5 is going to be absolutely fantastic, and it's going to work, and you guys are going to be in it, and it's going to be great. So I guess, I mean, I'm not going to hide. I'm pretty transparent about this stuff. <laughs> For Tornado Wars 5, I want you guys to be involved and I want your favorite YouTubers, most of your favorite YouTubers, to <coughs> oh, my chest, I'm dying. Most of your favorite YouTubers to uh, be able to be hosting you guys as a team and you, you're like, so think of it as like your favorite YouTubers are dictators on a server. You live in that fascist <laughs> communist whatever they want to make it regime maybe it's a democracy i don't know like maybe they're nice enough but they're basically they're they're your overarching government and you do whatever they tell you to and they're basically preparing their country or nation or empire or state or whatever they want to call it they're preparing it for war and you're going to fight in the tornado wars and they're going to be the uh they're going to be the leaders of it you know and I, I think that's kind of the idea that me and purple are getting and we are going to have a draft day where you all are going to sign up. And as long as there's nothing too like concerning about your application, we're going to allow you in. Um, 
and you'll be drafted and that's how it'll go obviously we might have to uh, limit how many people can get in just due to server cost but I'm uh, I'm willing to pay quite a bit for a server just to just to get it happening because like I said I'm pretty important to me that this works <laughs> so if I have to you know chip in like 50 bucks a month for this to be a two-month series I mean I've, I feel like I'm willing to pay that amount hopefully it won't cost I mean hopefully it won't be any more than that and I don't think these series will last more than two months just because if if it's over summer break which is ideal and everyone's playing on it I feel like it'll progress rather quickly all the tornado wars have progressed pretty fast I mean I, I understand there's gonna be a little bit of a delay if you get a bunch of you guys teamed up and we're trying to build up an empire and then have them fight but like I said, I don't think it'll be any longer than two months. Because once the initial fighting starts, I'm pretty sure there's going to be some, uh... <laughs> there's going to be some Empire's Fall. <laughs> um, and there's also, I'm planning on adding a lot more mods to make it interesting. Like, uh... Flans mod, obviously, with guns. Uh, maybe some... Oh, did I just craft? Maybe some ICBM mods. So, like... <laughs> Nuclear threat is always a thing. I don't know. Just tossing that out there. That might be cool. Especially with nations of size. So maybe you could get nuked and still live. <laughs> Just you're extremely damaged and maybe out of it. Or maybe, you know, everyone comes to the agreement that we're not going to nuke each other just due to the fact of how powerful they are, you know. A nuclear arms race in Minecraft just sounds really, really fun in my head. So, we'll see. I think this is, yeah, this is it. This, it's glass after this. What did I just, there we go. Yeah, like, I mean, that's that's still pretty far off, but that's the future of the channel, is Tornado Survival and Tornado Wars. The other future that I'm kind of holding off on is this would be way extended. Would either be... uh adding Hightail to the channel or adding Outbreak which is a storm upcoming storm chasing game um, both of those are really far away from release and I have a pretty general rule of thumb with that kind of stuff of if there's hype for it and there's a trailer out don't get hyped because <laughs> there's a decent chance it's gonna flop you, you may you may never see the game come out it's a uh, Stuff like that just tends to happen, <laughs> so I'm uh, I'm gonna hope the they're all huge successes and I can upload them on my channel. But we'll see. That's uh, that's way off in the future though, right? Like I said, the main focus for the next six months or so is Tornado Wars and Tornado Survival. Maybe even next year. And if Tornado Wars Five goes decently well, I plan on doing Tornado Wars Six. And a few months after. So. Oh man. We're going to run out of glass aren't we? No we should be good. Like I said. I have a, I have a few more ideas. For a few more tornado wars. We'll, we'll keep doing it as long as everyone likes it. I think. I think you guys would enjoy a few of them. If it goes well. Oh it's a thunderstorm. That's uh, right on time. Because I think the structure here. Is just about done. Uh, I guess we'll just uh, build up here. Hello. <laughs> That's uh, quite the thunderstorm, apparently. Is this high enough? Well, it's not whenever I mess up a placement. There we go. Alright, there's the final build. Let's, uh, ooh, it's, it's got some height to it, I'm not going to lie. It's, uh, it's quite the big building. I'm making sure I did this right. I think I did. Yeah. All right. That's uh, that's that. I don't really care how it looks on the inside. I'm more concerned about the outside. Oh, we do have a weather station here, don't we? Oh, we took it with us. Oh, hello. Oh. Here we go. Where's that moving? It's away. 
We can still chase it. Um, so yeah, this is our finished tower. You know, it looks very bulky from the bottom, I'm not gonna lie. Almost like, huh. I don't know. Let's let's look at the let's look at it from the weather tower. It's growing on me. It really is. There we go. Takes care of that. Oh, hello. Oh no. <laughs> that was a mistake. That almost cost me my life. <laughs> Can we climb this? Hello? <laughs> oh yeah, that's uh that's growing on me. Yeah, I like it. Could it could be a little taller. But uh I don't think it's too bad. I think it works. Yeah. Yeah, that's good. Mm-hmm. Yeah, alright, there you go. There's our uh, finished weather tower. Not weather tower. Airport tower. Can't even remember what it's for. Alright, let's chase this thing and then end off the episode, if that sounds good to you guys. Whee! Uh, oh, also, this is going to be uploaded on Saturday, hopefully. And if it is, expect a live stream tonight at around 10 o'clock Eastern Standard Time. I uh, plan on doing some off-camera work, which it'll be on camera because it'll be on the uh, live stream. But yeah, try and tune into that if you'd like over on twitch.tv slash tanner 6906 Link in the description as always. And uh, yeah, it should be pretty exciting. Interesting. You can, If you look at the map, you can see where, uh, <laughs> where we load in certain chunks and... <laughs> You can see the tornado's grass that's been able to grow back, and you can see it that hasn't. Oh, that's very anticlimactic. Guess we're not chasing that. <laughs> wow, how sad. <laughs> what is the blue? I guess there's blue flowers over there. Yeah, would you look at that? That's just unfortunate. All right, <laughs> no, uh, no tornado in this episode. Let's, uh, I want to look at this, uh, this mini map for a second. Where does this river go? We could so, um, uh, oh, I didn't realize this loops through like that. Look at that. Look at this little horseshoe here. Like from here to here. You could connect that if you really wanted to. Make a little island. That'd be cool. If we, uh, if we went straight across here, connected this and made this little island. Maybe put a little... Put a little uh, boathouse here or something. You know what I mean? That'd be pretty sweet. Um, I'd like to make this river more transportable, though. Like, see maybe where that takes us and where that would go over there. And maybe that's some future stuff we'll do in future episodes. But for now, I mean, next episode we'll obviously add stuff into there. And then after that, I said I would like a pull-in port for our planes, but... The Flans mod doesn't even work, so that's that's kind of out of the question. And, um, you know, I kind of think that should be gone. And so that's out of the question, which means, yeah, I guess we'll do some river work next episode. Maybe add that there. Uh, other than that, I'm not sure what else is needed to be done in this series. So if you guys could... Uh, could give me some suggestions in the comments below. Maybe uh, steal some ideas from fire or something like I did with that windmill. Other than that, I don't know. So let me know. Uh, hope you enjoyed, though. Like, comment, subscribe if you did. Any suggestions, of course, as always, please let me have them. That'll do it. And I might turn up the storm right here. Yeah, let's change that to two days just because we're getting in the series and we haven't had anything actually hit. We've had close calls, but nothing hit. I continue to build out of stuff that can be destroyed, but we'll see. Almost like, should that be two blocks shorter? Probably. We'll see. I might change it in the live stream. But yeah, that's going to do it. Hope you all enjoyed. I will s 
Oh, it's a water spout. I was like, is it a tornado? It was a water spout for a second. Can I delay the outro any longer? The answer is yes. Yeah, see ya. <laughs>